Praise the name of Jesus. Thank God for this wonderful opportunity uh, that the Lord has given to me this morning. I'm just so excited to be here. I thank uh, Bishop for inviting me and uh, for our, the Grizos, um, his sister Maureen, connecting me with him. And so I'm here. Hallelujah. It's good to know some people's sisters. You never know. Hallelujah. All right. So uh, I, I bring you greetings uh, from Tanzania. And uh, about uh, maybe 13,000 miles. And we, are, we were privileged to have uh, Dr. Marcia there with us. And they were a great blessing. Hallelujah. But I want us to go to the book of... Uh, Revelation 20, uh, uh, chapter 21, and I'm glad to uh, be accompanied by my friend William, a great man of God who is a, a friend of mine and, and a mentor to me as well in ministry. So Revelation chapter 21, um, from verse 1, the Bible says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and there were no longer any sea i saw the holy city the new jerusalem coming down out of heaven from god prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband and i heard a loud voice from the throne saying now the dwelling of god is with man and he will live with them. They will be his people and he, him, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the odd order of things has passed away. He who uh, was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down for those words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, and the Omega. The beginning and the end, to him who is thirsty, I will give to drink without cost from the spring of the water of life. He who overcomes will inherit all this, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. Father, we thank you for the reading of the word, and we pray that, Lord, you will speak to us through your spirit using me this morning in Jesus name hallelujah I understand you guys are celebrating your 50th anniversary wow 50 years that's huge and uh, and, and 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 you know normally um, I, I know you have heard a lot about Jubilee right you know and 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 there are three things that I always that, that always come to mind when I remember Jubilee. The first thing is rest. Second thing is freedom. And I like the third one, returning home. And today I'm going to talk about our heavenly home. Where we must be reminded that there is one. And we must prepare ourselves to go home. Our final jubilee. <laughs> Hallelujah. I like it. And, and, and so, uh, that's why we see here in Revelation, you see me uh, taking you to Revelation because it is describing a home that is wonderful. You have heard people say, East, West, home is best. But I say, East, West, heavenly home is best because there is no place like heaven and that's why God had to make 
at a point that we today will know where we are going. We'll know our home. Praise the name of Jesus. And I'm always excited to talk about home. And, and, and you know, when people say East, West, home is best, it's because it, 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 it's normally when, uh, you know, they maybe go to places and there are nice things over there, maybe even nice people over there, but doesn't make them feel like staying. They will still want to go back home because home is best. And there, and, 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 and I know that there are reasons why home is best. There are things that make your home be best. And, 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 and it's a place you want to be. Most of us, maybe not all, but normally that is the case. And, and so, uh, 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 some of you maybe have those things that make you miss home, no matter where you go, right? And, 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 and do we have any, anybody like that who has something that always makes them miss home when they leave home? Are you sure? Okay. One man, one woman. Come, please. One lady. Just come. You, you raised your hands. What's happening? <laughs> yes, thank you. A man, a guy now? What makes you miss home whenever you leave home? I need a, and I, I need a guy. Quickly. A guy? Oh, thank you. <laughs> so... Tell me one thing that make you maybe two quickly. Make you make food and family. Food and family. <laughs> wow. So no matter what food they eat, when she eats wherever she goes, she will always miss home because there's some kind of food she wants to eat when she's home. I just miss my wife and family. My wife, family. My wife, my life. Okay, you know, it doesn't matter where he goes, man, he will always remember his wife. And that's what makes him miss home. Thank you very much. Give them a hand. And so, but basically, basically there are two main things that will make you miss home. The people at home, that's why they mention family. And number two, the surroundings. Some people just like their kitchen. <laughs> and some people just like their living room. And some people just like their flowers. They miss those when they go places, you know. And so, uh, 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 in heaven, these two things we must miss because we haven't yet gotten there. Number one is the company, we're talking about people, company of God himself and his son Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. This company is a special company. But I want to, <laughs> you know, there are times when, when, uh, 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 when people just want to see somebody, someplace. Now, this is God. Don't you think you want to hang out with God sometime? But the Bible says that, and I heard in verse 3, a loud voice from the throne saying, now... The dwelling of God is with men. He will live with them. That is in the new Jerusalem. It is company. And, I, and I, I, you know, verse chapter 3 of Revelation, uh, verse 21, says to him who overcomes, I will give the right to sit with me. Hey, company, on my throne, just as I overcame and sat uh, uh, down with my father on his throne. 
So, you see, we, how do you think sitting with Jesus on his throne and then taking a selfie? I think there will be selfies there. I don't know. But it would be wonderful to be with Jesus. He said, I will make you sit with me. Company. And that's why on our 50th anniversary, where we talk about returning home, restoration, why don't we remind ourselves going home and be with our Father in the new Jerusalem? It is coming. And that's why we just read the Bible saying, hear this, is these words, these words are trustworthy and true it is true our dwelling place will be with God our dwelling place will be with Jesus right beside him on the throne I like a scripture which says there is precious promises and he mentioned they mentioned also about the better promise what better promise that will be see being with God I think it's a very great promise hallelujah you know Hebrews says the, in, 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 in chapter 8, verse 10, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel. After that time, declares the Lord, I will put my laws in their minds and write them on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. In verse 6, this is what he defines as a better promise because in verse 6, he, he says, but the ministry Jesus has, has received is a superior to theirs and the covenant of which he is mediator is superior to the old one and it is founded on better promises. And that's when he mentions being with God. God forever is one of those wonderful promises. We miss home because of the love that you get home for most of us. And so that's why in verse 4, the Bible says he will wipe every tear. Don't you see that, that, that posture, that posture? posture of of being before God before the Lord and he's wiping you know when you see somebody being wiped out you know the eyes uh, the tears and, and 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 most of the time they will be intimate right most of the time he will be closer most of the time he will be able to you know feel his uh, presence and and, and 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 be physical in that sense Woo, that is the picture the bible the word of god wants us to get that we will be together with him and he will touch us i don't know how but i don't care how exactly it's gonna be but the bible says he will wipe our tears hallelujah he will wipe every tear from our eyes and, and, and so, God being with us, that is love. Love. Expression of love. There is no love than the love that we will experience before God himself. You know, there are people who have gone to heaven. Some I believe, some I don't. But they come to us and they say they, got, they went to heaven. But there is this one person who said he once went to heaven and, and, and he got, and he was told, okay, now let's go to the throne room of God. And he went and he says he saw, and they told, when they told him that is the throne room of God, he said he saw something. 
And when they say that's, that's the presence of God, the God himself, he, he said everything that he sensed at that time was love, 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 love. He couldn't describe it otherwise. But where we read, he, he's also talking about the surroundings, the venue. That's first of all, this holy city in verse 2, it says it's new, new, new. Very important. How many of you would like to have a new car, new phone? Right? New. Just the, the idea of new. And that's why here we read, new Jerusalem. You want to miss it. You want to be there. And, it's, and, and, it, and he says, it is decorated like a bride. Hallelujah. In Africa, when people, they say they're, they're going to get married. And, I mean, when there, there is a wedding. So the, the, the men are the ones who, who, who come first. People are not very serious, like very attentive to the man when they come. But when they say, the bride is here, everybody. <laughs> Why? Brides are always wonderfully dressed and decorated. And that's why he wants you to take a, to, to get that picture of the, the heavenly home. It is beautiful. You want to be there. Hallelujah. But then, <laughs> let me just say what he advises us about how to get there. What must you do to enter into the heavenly home? That was the last verse. Verse 7, the Bible says, He who overcomes will inherit all this. <laughs> Everything that is said, He who overcomes will inherit. And I will be his God and he will be my son. And now here is the advice from Peter. He says in chapter 3 of 2 Peter verse 13. But in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth. The home of righteousness. So then. So then. Therefore. Because of that. Dear friends, since you are looking for, forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with him. Make every, own, every effort to be pure. Make every effort to be holy. You know, you know, when people talk about holiness, they consider, you know, some people get pictures like, you know, moving like this. He's so holy. Or being so quiet. Or, or they think like it's, a, it's, a, it's an achievable uh, 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 condition or state. But you know, I have a simple definition of holiness. It's just doing what God says. When God says forgive, you forgive. You are holy. When God says don't, don't, uh, 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 maybe curse. You don't curse. You obey God. That's holiness. When you obey and walk in whatever is preached on this pulpit. And you do it. And you do it. That is holiness. And oh, that's, that's what the Bible says. Those who will be obedient to the word of God. By the time the trumpet uh, uh, sounds. They will go and they will be received into the new Jerusalem. And enjoy all this company of God. And angels and Jesus. And they will move. The Bible says we will be dressed in white robes. Hallelujah. I will, I'm missing those white robes. But it will be done. Stand up so we can pray to, for God to help us. Just stand up, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I want you to miss, to begin to miss heaven. In other words, to want to be there. So that you are not ready to, dis to disobey God because you want a good job. When you compare your good job with a heaven, that will be nothing. And that is said to be forever and ever. And your good job will just give you temporary satisfaction. Satisfaction. When you disobey God because of a relationship, consider that life after death or when Christ comes. When you disobey God because of your of good grades. All a good deal. I want you to remember that there is something better. There's a the better home. You would rather just wait on God. May I uh, one more verse? It's talking about those, those, those. Uh, 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 the, uh, what they call it the hall of faith. Moses and the others, I'm going to read this on, in Hebrews 11, verse 24 uh, and 26. The, by faith, Moses, when he had grown up, refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to be min mistreated. He chose to be mistreated along with the people of God rather than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a short time. He regarded disgrace for the sake of Christ as of great value than the treasures of Egypt because whew, because he was looking ahead <laughs> praise the name of Jesus to the reward <laughs> lastly <laughs> oh I like this guy he's called John and again I will, I will conclude the old man, John, in chapter, in first John, in chapter three, verse two, he says, dear friends, now we are children of God. And what we will be has not yet been made known. <laughs> it's like, I can't imagine how we will look like. Although we are already children of God, but we, what we will be, I can't. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is everyone who has this hope in him he concurs with Peter purifies himself just as he is pure if you have a hope to get to the heavenly city the holy city the bible says make every effort to do what the word of God says in your family, in your marriage, in your relationships, at work, in your business, and in every area of your life. That is holiness. And that is what will get you to the holy city. If you are here, I want to pray for you. You want to say, you are saying, Pastor, I want that in my life. I want to be in a position where I'll be able to sacrifice anything just to get to heaven. I want to pray for you. Come on, raise your hand right now. In Jesus' name, Father, I thank you for your people. And I glorify your name because you have spoken your word. This word because you know your people and you will help them and you will bless them. And Father, you will ensure every one of them who will take heed to this word, they will get to heaven and enjoy that company with you for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.
Thank you. Give the Lord a hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.